What's up guys and gals, Jared here with another magically infused movie review. So I went out to the theater and saw the latest film directed by Eli Roth, The House with the Clock in Its Walls. So The House with the Clock in Its Walls follows 10 year old Lewis who goes to live with his oddball uncle in a creaky old house that contains a mysterious TikTok noise. He soon learns that his uncle Jonathan and his feisty neighbor Mrs. Zimmerman are practitioners of the magic arts, revealing a secret and dangerous world of witches, warlocks, and deadly curses. So is this new clock film too time consuming? Let's find out. Now, before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of the movie down below. Was this a nice change of pace for Eli Roth, and what's one of your favorite Jack Black movies? Now, let's get into some of the good things that this film did. So, I thought that The House with the Clock in Its Walls was this nice kind of like PG horror film for a younger audience. It sort of felt like it had vibes from Goosebumps, which makes sense because Jack Black is also in that movie, but it also took things from like The Page Master and something like The Sorcerer's Apprentice. It had this lighthearted tone through most of the movie that was definitely geared towards a younger audience, but it had some darker imagery leaning into the horror side of Eli Roth's career. The acting slash leads of this film were another great thing that this book to screen adaptation had going for it. Jack Black is wonderful at playing this like strange oddball warlock slash uncle character. Again I have to compare this with Goosebumps because his demeanor and character is very reminiscent of that character from that film and it was just really wonderful and fun to watch him on screen. Quick witted and the delivery of some of his lines really add that great Jack Black humor that we're used to into this film. On the other hand, Kate Blanchett is just as great. Personally, I enjoyed her more. Playing the odd, quick-witted neighbor. She was charming all throughout this film. I mean, they maybe could have used her a little bit more in some sections, but she definitely adds that magic to the film, both literally and figuratively. Plus, she looks absolutely beautiful. They tried to gray her up, make her look a little bit old, but honestly, it did it even more for me. Wow, great job, Jared, you weirdo. Now everyone is going to think that you're into older women or gilfs. The chemistry between these two characters was really really endearing and fun to watch as well because they have this like love, hate, tease, flirt relationship throughout most of it and it's really fun to kind of just see them interact with one of another and kind of see this whole thing play out. It was seamless between these two, some of it was probably improv and right there their interactions was kind of worth the ticket price right there. However, the house with the clock in its walls, man that's a mouthful, that's what she said, did have some things that lessened the film experience. One of which was the exposition dumps. There was a lot of explaining in this movie, either who characters were, what their backstory was, why the character is who they are. It does give the audience more depth into these characters, but there are these kind of pauses of what's actually going on to just jump in and explain certain things. Lastly, the movie does have some subpar visual effects. This film really isn't a visuals heavy film, so it can kind of be forgiven, but the times or few times that there are visual effects on the screen, they are very noticeable. It takes you out of any sort of realism in this film into more of a fantasy oriented film. One instance of this is this Blumpkin. Ow! Sorry, pumpkin scene from the first trailer. Like I said, this movie doesn't really strive for the best effects out there, but it does kind of come off as low budget at times. Overall, The House with the Clock in Its Walls is this PG horror film geared towards younger audiences that does have some darker imagery. With this lighthearted, toned down horror vibe, some great performances, and some solid chemistry amongst the leads, but with lots of exposition dumps and some less than great visual effects, I'd say that this is an okay film to go watch or check out. This is geared towards a younger audience, so it might be a fun movie to take your kids to. So what did you think of this film? Was this a nice little PG horror film to ease into the genre? Or did this film really not have that much to offer? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Stardust. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Again, there's plenty of movie reviews, trailer reactions, comedy skits, fun videos on my channel. Go and watch all of those. And until next time, I'll see you later.